Hello everyone, welcome back. If you have a Life of Fred Apples book, go ahead and pull that out so that you can follow along. Remember, you can press pause at any time during the video. We are going to be on page 119, and that's chapter 18. And the title is Vending Machines. When Fred had finished writing his notes for tomorrow's classes and Kinji had finished painting his seventh picture, they looked at each other. It was quiet for a moment. Then Fred spoke. There were no classes today because of the bad weather. I hope there are classes tomorrow. Just then, they heard a curve plop as the evening newspaper was delivered. Fred hopped off of his chair and opened the door. He looked down the hallway where the vending machines were. In front of the hot roast beef sandwich machine was the hungry bird. It put a dime into the machine. The machine made a little noise and out popped a hot roast beef sandwich. Because he was a carnivore, he threw away the bread and just ate the meat. A dime is worth 10 cents. Things are often a lot cheaper at Kittens University. At most places, you cannot buy a hot roast beef sandwich for a dime. One dime equals 10 cents, equals one cent plus one cent, or counting by fives, five, 10, 10 cents equals 5 cents plus 5 cents. In front of another vending machine was the duck that couldn't tell the truth. The duck was standing in front of the soft drink machine and said, You are a toy banana. Fred picked up the newspaper and headed back into his office. He shut the door, leaving the hungry bird and the duck outside. Fred opened the evening newspaper and gave the comics section to Kinji. Since the Kit and Caboodle newspaper was very small, it had only one comic strip. Kinji always giggled when he read it. Today was different. When Kinji looked at the comic strip, he did not giggle. He cried. No comics today. Fred turned to the front page of the newspaper, The Kitten Caboodle. No comic strip today, Kansas. All of the campus was sad today. The man who drew our comic strip retired today. He had been drawing his comic strip in this paper since the university began back in 1929. A party was held in his honor this afternoon. All the students came to the party. Almost all the teachers came. The only teacher that didn't come was Fred Gauss. When someone came to his office to tell Fred about the party, no one was there except his doll. His doll didn't know where Fred was. Page two, contest announced. We need a new person to draw the comic strip for our newspaper. All students, and teachers can enter the contest. Send in your strip. The person who draws the funniest strip will win. Fred and Kinji looked at each other. They knew what they wanted to do. They would enter the contest. Fred ran to his desk and pulled out a piece of paper. Kinji squeezed out some more oil paint. He told Fred that he would be the first comic strip artist to use oil paints. Fred looked at the blank sheet of paper. He didn't know where to begin. He had never drawn a comic strip before. He had a lot of questions. How big do I make it? Do I use a pencil or a pen? Can I use crayons? Fred knew where to find the answers to his questions. Most of the walls in his office were covered with books. He went and found books on drawing comic strips. One book gave a list of the things he would need to begin. Another book told Fred about drawing shadows. A third book showed how to start drawing faces. 
The book gave some examples. Then Fred tried. Okay, go ahead and pull out your piece of paper and a pencil. Remember, you can press pause at any time. And are you ready for your turn to play? Number one. Kinji looked at Fred's book. Here is the drawing that Kinji made. Kinji looked at the clock. What time is it? Number two. Five plus two equals what? Number three. Fred drew a comic strip of a dog eating the number eight. He thought that was funny. Being, be an artist and draw your own funny comic strip. Number four. How many members does this set have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Here are your answers. Go ahead and press pause so that you can check your work. It had been a long day. Lots of things had happened. They were tired of drawing. Kinji and Fred put away all their art supplies. Kinji asked Fred to read a story to him. Fred picked out a book about butterflies. He went and sat in the corner of his room and put Kinji on his lap. When Fred was about halfway through the book, Kinji shut his eyes and fell asleep. Kinji was dreaming about butterflies. Okay, everyone, that was the end of Life of Fred uh, Apples. So the next book that you would get is Life of Fred Butterflies. You join me tomorrow and we'll be doing Life of Fred Butterflies Chapter 1. Are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. Bye.